Hello everybody, today we're going to discuss a very important topic, which is the environment. First of all, what is the environment? The environment is the surrounding and conditions in which an animal, a human being, and even a plant lives and operates in. And no living organisms such as air, earth, and water. Biologic refers to animals is as fauna, and to plants is as flora. What keeps an environment? It is a balance that keeps an environment together. Without this balance, the environment will be more than enough or less than it needs. For example, more lions will eat all gazelles, and as a result, there will be more herbs and plants. The herbs and plants will need more water to grow, so the right number and the right quantity are very important to have an environment. Today, our planet's environment is threatened with many, many dangers conducted by who? By us, humans. Such as what? Such as wildfires, climate change, global warming, and changing landforms from natural states for the purpose of housing. We all know that people had always cut down the trees to make way to agriculture, wood, and use plants. There are few great forests left, namely the Amazon and the large forests of Indonesia. The international community should assist Brazil and Indonesia to save this precious resource from deforestation. So you may ask how to protect it. That is a big question with no easy single answer. As you may know, we're gonna start easy by uh, incorporating simple behaviors into our daily life and that can save our planet, like reduce, reuse, and recycle, volunteer for cleanups in your community, minimize unuseful using for water, throw our trash on the trash bin, uh, upcycle more, consume less, and so much more. These are all really helpful ways to protect the environment. So please remember, as inhabitants of this earth, we all must come together to do our bit to save the environment. Hello everyone, today I'm going to talk about a very important topic that everyone knows, love in your country. So, having a great passion or love for your country can help you to learn about your nation's history and become a better member of your national community, learning how to love your country. Happens with becoming familiar with your country's culture, history, and taking an active role as a citizen and devoting yourself to make your country the best place to be. Is it true that Morocco is an unsafe, ugly country? Is it true that Morocco is a non-developed country? No, Morocco is noticed more and more by tourists and visitors from all over the world. It had people drop their jaws by its magical and breathtaking places and views. Ifran is the Moroccan Switzerland. Wurzazet is the Moroccan Oman. Rabat is the Moroccan New York. Without forgetting the Moroccan Sahara, there is a red line that no one can touch. It was Moroccan, it is Moroccan, and it will be Moroccan till the last breath. Let's discuss how reading stands in our society and how it improves it with the help of this presentation. Every person should make an effort to read books every day. All of us know that a reading is the food of the mind and the basis of understanding and culture. It's the first entry point for every art, especially the art of integration in life and coexistence with everyone around us. Rather, it's the foundation on which it's built. Through it, the doors of knowledge and science are opened. Studies have shown in 2021 that 86% of the world's population have read books. And those who do so are more informed than those who don't, making them better able to function in today's society. They can learn a wide range of skills that makes them stand out on the job and they can think critically about their own and other people's behavior. And also they can put themselves in other people's shoes easily. There is no friend as loyal as a book. The importance of reading human life is highly important. We all need to read lots. Except reading, we won't be able to develop our creativity and communication skill. It helps us to reduce stress and depression. If you ever feel depressed, annoyed or lonely, you can grab a good book and start reading. Your mood will be changed within a couple of minutes. As we all know, reading is the key to minds, a way to your progress and to be unique and distinguished from others around you. Because the more you read, the more you will know, 
the more you learn, the more positions you will get. Unfortunately, our nations today are no more interested in books. In fact, our communities require it. We need it for ourselves, because the readers of today are the leaders of tomorrow. We need it to develop our vocabulary, our sense of analysis, our pronunciation, and to increase our personal knowledge in all fields.